Country fans all over the world are grieving this morning for a legend. Toby Keith, the singer songwriter died last night. According to an announcement posted on his social media accounts early this morning, his official website also confirms the news. According to those statements, Keith died surrounded by his family. He was diagnosed with cancer in 2021 and publicly revealed the journey the following year. For two decades, Keith's music entertained country music fans worldwide and U.S. troops serving overseas, giving them hope. He sold more than 40 million albums and had 20 number one hits on the Billboard Country Song chart. Before pursuing a music career, he worked in the oil industry and played defense in the USFL Football League. He was 62 when he died. This was so stunning mm. to so many people who thought he was doing better. Yeah, just a couple months ago, I remember he got clearance to tour again. Mm -hmm. So, wow, must have, went, must have went downhill pretty quick after that. And I didn't realize until I came in this morning and I saw that headline and I thought, you got to be kidding me because he was, what, 62, right? Yeah. So, he has young. so many hits. Oh, yeah. so many. We were trying to go Every, through them all this morning. Yeah, everyone's commenting on Facebook about their favorites. Made in America, uh, you know, so many about service members, courtesy oh, yeah. of the Red, White, and Blue, which he wrote after 9-11. Of course, Beer for My Horses, you know, some <laughs> of the fun yeah. ones, uh, the bar-themed songs. He was just, he was a great guy, and he really made you feel like you were his friend if he knew you oh, were yeah. not. Did he sing, uh, it's one of those funny songs, the Red Solo Cup? He did. Yeah, he did. That, that's yeah. a hilarious song. Yeah. Like, he had a good sense of humor. Too. He did a lot of tours. Um, you know, uh, a lot of tours with servicemen and did a lot yeah. of shows overseas and for troops and stuff. He did a lot of work for um, veterans too. Mm -hmm. well, his body of work speaks for his talent, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah.